In this video, we have a couple of examples of limits of trigonometric functions. The first one is the limit of the function sine of 2x over sine of 5x as x approaches 0. The first thing we're going to look at to evaluate this is to realize that the limit, the limit of just this function, the limit of sine of x over x as x approaches 0. The limit of that equals 1. Now you could graph that if you want to satisfy your curiosity and, and the graph will look something like this, open circle at, uh, at the y-axis and then back down and coming in from the right hand side and coming in from the left hand side you have the same limit and it is 1. So that, that's why that's true. Um, there's, there are also wonderful geometric, there's a, a great geometric proof of this. And a little bit later in calculus, you learn about L'Hopital's rule. And you use that to, to find this limit is 1. But in any event, we're going to use that. So first, we need to rearrange what we have here. This sine of 2x over sine of 5x. And we're gonna, we play a little manipulation. It's all legal but we do have to manipulate it a little. So the first thing we're going to do is divide both the numerator and the denominator by x. So we have then sine of 2x over x all over sine of 5x over x. The next thing we're going to do is in the numerator, this this big numerator, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2. And that's legal because we're just multiplying by 1 in the end. So 2 and 2 there. So 2 times sine of 2x over 2x. In the denominator, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 5. And that's legal because 5 over 5 is 1. So we multiply numerator and denominator by 5. So we're not changing the value here. We're just uh, playing some tricks. We're just manipulating. Kind of like solving an equation when you add 5 to each side. Uh, you're just manipulating it to, to get to a solution. All right, now what do we get here? Well, look at this. This is why we're doing this. Sine of 2x over 2x. It looks just like this. Now, I know this is sine of x over x, but hey, as x approaches 0, that 2 doesn't mean anything. So this entire quantity then just goes to 1. That's a common mathematical uh, notation here. The arrow through through it and then it goes to 1. Same thing in the, den in the denominator, sine of 5x over 5x. This whole thing goes to 1. So if you were guessing in the in originally that the answer is 2 over 5, well, maybe for the wrong reasons you were guessing that, but um, or maybe you knew. Maybe you knew how to do this, and that's great. But it does then uh, simplify to just 2 over 5. So the limit of this then in the end does equal 2 over 5. Great. Now let's go on to the next one. In this example, we've got tangent, tangent of 6x. I don't want that big green line, so I'm going to use that space a little bit. OK, let's rewrite this tangent of 6x as sine over cosine. So the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 6x over cosine of 6x all still over sine of x. That's that denominator there. I'm going to try to make this bar bigger than the, than the one above it to, to signal that this sine of 6x over cosine of 6x represents the tan of 6x. Now let's just play some algebra here. And uh, actually arithmetic, really. We're just dividing fractions. So I'm going to rewrite this as the change color so we can denote the next line the limit of as x approaches 0 of sine of 6x over cosine of 6x 
multiplied by dividing dividing fractions is the same as multiplying by reciprocal so multiplied by 1 over sine of x now look at what's happening here sine of 6x over sine of x and I'll write that again so in the next line we have switching back to another color to denote the break in the lines, the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 6x over sine of x. Hey, we're getting close to something that we saw over here. Multiplied by 1 over cosine of 6x. Okay, so the first one, sine of 6x over sine of x. The limit of that as x approaches 0. Well, we saw in this last example that you can pull some manipulations and ultimately you get as a result the ratio of whatever is being multiplied by x inside the sine function. So this is going to be 6 over 1. I don't like that 6. Let me rewrite that. 6 over 1 multiplied by Oh, I'm going to do this over to the side. The limit of just cosine, cosine of x as x approaches 0. Well, that equals 1. And that's because you can think of the unit circle. Here's the unit circle, and uh, we've got x radians. All these are in radians, of course. In calculus, we're talking about trigonometric functions with radians. At zero, at zero radians, the cosine of, of zero is is one. There aren't any holes in the graph. You can also think of the, the graph of cosine of x, which goes like this. And right here, when x is zero, cosine of, of zero is one. So the limit as x approaches 0, the limit of cosine of x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. Well, it's the same thing with cosine of 6x because 6 times 0 is just 0. So <coughs> I'm going to write that as well. This part, 1 over cosine of x is 1 over 1. That's the limit. It, it doesn't just equal that automatically, but it's the limit of these functions as x approaches 0. So in the end, we get then 6 times 1, or just 6. So 6 is the answer to part B.